3D website are getting popular day by day, website like Apple, Cloud, Flux Academy utilizes 3D elements to enhance the user experience and interactivity. In this video, I will show you how you can integrate Spline with SvelteKit. Spline is a browser-based application that allows users to create 3D scenes, objects, and animations without the need for complex software or plugins. Spline allows users to create various 3D objects such as cubes, spheres, cylinders, and much more. Spline also offers powerful animation tools for animating elements within the 3D scene. Once a 3D scene or animation is complete, users can export their projects in various formats such as PNG, MP4, Vision, OS, Code Export, and much more. First, we are going to install Spline Runtime with this command. Then we will head to Spline's website and open a dummy project. Then we are going to press export and go to code export and copy this code. In our code we will import on mount from Svelte and application from Spline Runtime. Then we are going to add an on mount function that will hold the code that we copied before. Then we are going to add a variable named canvas that will be a type of any. Then we are going to remove the const in the canvas of the copied code because we already declared the variable. Then we are going to add a canvas with an ID of canvas 3D. Then we are going to press on export and then edit code sandbox. Then we are going to head to index, HTML and copy this piece of code. Then paste it with a svelte head wrapped around it. And just like that, you got your spline model into a svelte page. How amazing is that? Here I have another dummy project. Now I will show you how you can manipulate the cube with code. First, we are going to add a button that will call the scale function. Outside the on mount, we are going to create a variable called scale with type of any. Then we are going to add then after the application.load function. We are going to create a constant that will hold the cube using application.find object by name that is provided by spline. Inside the scale function, we will check if the cube is present and if so, scale the cube in the x-axis. As you can see, everything works fine as expected. That was it for today's video. If you want to see more tutorial on some other features, make sure to comment down below.